Hey YouTube, Motor Racing Network, Steve Post with another great collection of die casts from Lionel. All of these are available at your local die cast dealer or at planbsales.com. Last week we had a drive-by by David Reagan and well the David Reagan hits just continue here. We have got his CSX car autographed by David. Again the certificate of authenticity. So the autographed CSX car and the non-autographed version of his Ford from Front Row Motorsports. So more David Reagan stuff coming in. You can get that here with Plan B Sales, your local diecast store, or davidreaganstore.com is another avenue. And again, we remind you what we told you last week on the show here, that if you order in the month of August, uh, David will have a registration for you there. You'll be registered, and you could win garage passes to a race of your choice in the future. So David Reagan stuff, always looking good. Always great to have David Reagan diecast around, that's for sure. Next up, we have Carl Edwards. This is Tony the Tiger. Had a lot of success with Tony on the hood of the car, as a matter of fact. The Kellogg's car in the standard finish, and we have the Kellogg's car in the color chrome finish as well. The Pennzoil Platinum Machine, and this is a beauty for Joey Logano. What a year Logano is having. This car really, really sharp from Penske Racing, the Ford, and just an absolute great looking race car there in the standard finish. And then we have it in the color chrome finish as well. So good looking stuff for Penske Racing and De uh, Joey Logano there as well. Next up we have Austin Dillon. This is the color chrome of the Bass Pro Shops car. We had the standard finish and we still have that available, but this is the color chrome brand new and in here just recently at Plan B Sales. Marcus Ambrose, the twisted T car that he has raced this year. Color chrome paint scheme is available. Standard finish has already been here as well. So that's the Marcus Ambrose car. Now Dale Earnhardt Jr., this is one that we've talked about a lot, just looks awful, awful good. Hendrick Motorsports, remember the Kelly Blue Book paint scheme? It is in stock now and ready for your purchase. A good looking race car for Dale Earnhardt Jr. The Kelly Blue Book colors on it, fantastic race car. And Dale Earnhardt Jr., the Daytona Win cars keep coming in. This is the color chrome finish with the confetti of the National Guard Chevrolet. Of course, Jr. winning the Great American Race back in February, and it's just. Uh, just a sweet memory to have these cars, and this is the color chrome version. And finally, we have, from the Nationwide Series, the Morton Buildings car, Kevin Harvick from Junior Motorsports in the Chevy Camaro. So, real good-looking car there as well. So, we have some great 124-scale die-cast, brand new. All of this available at PlanBSales.com, your local die-cast dealer. And stay tuned, everyone. When we come back, another post-show is coming up next. All right, now it's time for our favorite part of the Diecast Review Show, the post show. And what this is is your questions right down below here on YouTube. So type them in, and we'll answer them on a future edition of the post show. And we've got a couple of really good ones here today. Greg Moore writes in and says, who do you think will get the Nationwide Championship this year? Man, I'll tell you what, this Nationwide battle is fantastic because you really have three groups of drivers, okay? Right now, you have the veterans. You have Elliott Sadler and Regan Smith. And I know they're not old guys, but they've been around racing a little bit longer than some of the other guys. And you've got those two guys up there mixing it up with a pair of young guys, the rookies, Ty Dillon and Chase Elliott. And then right behind them, you've got a couple guys in the middle area, Brian Scott and Trevor Bain. So there's six of them that are still pretty close, particularly those front four that we talked about. Now, who do I think is going to win? I like Regan Smith because I look at what they did last year. Last year, they probably lost the championship in the road course season. And we've seen the road course season this year with Road America, Mid-Ohio, Watkins Glen. That's over. And Regan Smith sitting second in points as we record this is right in the thick of it. I just like Regan Smith, but his teammate Chase Elliott, they're both very good. Ty Dillon is consistently coming on. So I wouldn't take a lot of money. I'm not sure I'd take any money to Vegas to bet on it. But if I had to pick someone right now, I'm leaning toward Regan Smith to win the championship. Tommy writes in and says, do you think a lower team will get a win this year? Thanks and love the show. Well, Tommy, we appreciate you enjoying the show. And thanks for sending in that question. I think the definition of lower team is really where we're at here with this thing. I'm not sure that uh, we're, I, I think if you look at upper echelon teams, middle teams, and lower teams, the lower teams are Frankie Stoddard's teams. Tommy Baldwin's team kind of merges toward the middle area of it. 
I'm not sure, except for a real strange situation at Talladega where those teams can right now win a race. Very, very good. They know what they're building. They're looking for top 20 finishes and consistency. It's these middle teams that I really like what's happened with this year, particularly A.J. Allmendinger with his JTG Darty team and Richard Petty Motorsports, another one of those teams that they're borderline now getting to one of the super teams. That's how good Richard Petty is. But both of those, with Eric Almirola getting that win at Daytona and A.J. Allmendinger, the win at Watkins Glen, I think those were two great victories for those teams. And here's where this really matters in the big picture. Sponsors. And I know for a fact, I know the folks at Smithfield and STP on Richard Petty's team, and I know the field, uh, the folks with Kingsford and Clorox and Bush's Beans and all of them there. The word to sum up how they feel is ecstatic that they're in the chase. Signed long-term deals coming into this season, so not only are they signed up for the next few years, but they're rewarded in the first year of this. I see great things out of those teams, JTG Dougherty and Richard Petty Motorsports. Speaking of Richard Petty Motorsports, Vogel Elliott writes in, do you think Marcus Ambrose will stay with Richard Petty Motorsports or move to a two new team in the 2015 season? I think it's interesting. I think uh, Marcus apparently, and this is all speculation, apparently has a unique opportunity from Roger Penske to go back to Australia and run the Australian supercar team. I think that's the one opportunity that could remove Marcus Ambrose from Richard Petty Motorsports. I think Ambrose and Petty, everything I hear over there is that they're great, they're happy. Marcus is welcome to be back next year should he choose to do it. But this apparent offer, and again I'm stressing apparent offer from Roger Penske to go down under, to go back home if you will, and race down there is something that Marcus needs to consider. So we'll see. If he's in NASCAR, I believe Marcus Ambrose would be with Richard Petty Motorsports, but there's that oddball situation that we see once in a while where he may be racing down under. Time will tell, and I'm not sure. That's all speculation. That's all media reports. Maybe they've had a conversation. Maybe they haven't had a conversation talking about Marcus Ambrose and Richard uh, or, and uh, Roger Penske. So we'll just have to stay tuned and see what we have on that one. Final question, Racing Nation TV. Do you know any more about the David Reagan store raffle? Is it per item or a certain price? The David Reagan store, and you can punch that in, David Reagan store is real simple. You order anything and you're entered, period, plain and simple. A $2, $2 decal, window sticker decal, or if you want to order a box full of hoodies and diecast cars, you get whatever you want, but an order means a registration. The end of the month, and this is the month of August, David will draw one winner, and you pick the race. You get garage passes for that for DavidReaganStore.com. And I think David has another deal as well with $10 off some items. You might want to check his website, DavidReagan.com or DavidReaganStore.com, and find that out. So some great stuff there on our post show. And again, keep those questions coming in. We love seeing them, and we love just chatting about our NASCAR racing all the time here on the DieCast Review Show. All of these diecast cars available at your local diecast dealer or at planbsales.com. And we'll talk to you next time here on the Diecast Review Show. We love that you guys are getting involved with us here on YouTube. We have the comments below. Feel free to mention your comments here. Follow us on Twitter, at Plan B Sales, and we'll keep you informed on what we have. And please get some back and forth conversation going because we love talking racing and love talking with you race fans out there, and we appreciate the business you did give us.